thank you all for joining us. My name is Paige Gimbel, and I'm calling from Northern California with um, Actives. And tonight we will be presenting the product Link. We have three distinguished gentlemen on this call with us tonight that know way more about this product and what it does in the human body than I do. The first person we have is Dr. Larry Martin. He's a CEO of Nutrigenomic Health Incorporated and has completed his doctorate studies at the University of Florida School of Medicine. In addition, he has pursued further studies in homeopathic and holistic medicine with specific interest in the study of natural and functional medicine. For eight years, Dr. Larry has been researching and studying the field of cellular biology with specific focus on oxidative stress and the cellular effects of disease onset. Our next presenter is John Mark Rankins, who is a certified health coach, nutritionist, and certified faculty at the Wellness Council of America. He and his collaborative take a functional medicine approach towards lifestyle medicine and therapeutic nutrition for complex GI disorders and autoimmune diseases. Our third presenter tonight is Daniel Siebert. He is an associate degree in chemistry from Wayne State University in Michigan. He's a certified naturopath with a focus on biochemistry based studies. He's a herbal, he also has a certificate in Herbal Healing Academy from Mountain View, Arkansas. He's continued his educational studies in neuroendocrine immune access, mastering brain chemistry, functional endocrinology, functional blood chemistry. He's the owner of the Center for Alternative Healthcare with a practice based on and focused in finding causation of human and cellular dysfunction and natural remedies. With that, I'm going to hand over the webinar tonight to Dr. Larry Martin. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here and we're excited to have you join us as we talk about our gut health product link from Actives. I'd like to start out just reading a, a statement that is required when we talk about supplement products. The supplements made, or the statements made throughout this presentation have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration, and this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So with that being said, we'll go to the first slide. What is butyric acid? Well, butyric acid is a short chain fatty acid that's produced in our gut. And butyric acid plays a major role in not only our gut health, but is vital for cellular health throughout our body. As we discuss this topic, it should become clear for each of you that butyric acid in our link product is foundational in the health and wellness of the whole body. We'll go to the next slide. So what is the human microbiome? Research, researchers are finding new and exciting information about the human microbiome daily. I, I received uh, in my inbox uh, new research studies almost on a daily basis uh, regarding gut health issues. Our microbiome has been considered our second brain and it's responsible for a number of cellular functions throughout the body's cellular system. And we're going to learn why our link product with butyric acid in its particular formulation consisting of three prebiotics are uniquely designed to promote this microbiome health. Next slide. So where does butyric acid come from? Well, mostly it's, we generate butyric acid in the gut from the food that we eat. Unfortunately, in our mo modern diets, we don't provide enough bulk that we used to get many years ago. And so our best option to keep the gut healthy is to provide butyric acid in supplementation form. Adding link with our diet provides more of something the body needs, but it's not getting enough of to keep our intestinal cells healthy. Next slide. I think we missed one. Can you go back one? I think we're missing a slide. Oh, apparently not. No. All right. 
So what do we need? Why do we need butyric acid? I think this question is going to be answered pretty well by this panel as we complete this presentation. As a proponent of preventative health, the research is clear um, that many benefits butyric acid provides in our body, in, in our overall health. We will highlight many of those this evening. And we should be considering supplementation of butyric acid through the link product. Anyone um, that has an interest in providing improvement to their immune system and the related disease associated with that risk factor uh, is gonna want to be taking or consider taking a, a product uh, such as this link butyric acid product. Next slide. So how, in butyric acid, how does it actually promote health? Well, the primary reasoning for the health of it is that we know that the short chain fatty acid, butyric acid, is the primary feed source, if you will, or energy source for the cells that line the gut wall. Um, they feed on short chain fatty acids, of which there's five or six different short chain fatty acid, but of all of them, these cells require 75% of their energy source derived from butyric acid specifically. Once these cells are functioning appropriately, they change the gene expressions epigenetically. And that is the DNA within our, our um, cells and the genes that are within that DNA are expressed based on the function of this upregulation that the uh, butyric acid can cause or creates. Let's go to the next one. And we'll turn this time over now to John and he's mm -hmm. gonna talk about the, uh, some of the gut issues related to uh, um, butyric acid and, it, and how it's helped. Go ahead, John. All right, thanks Dr. Larry. Um, so as you can see, um, you know, when I got involved in the digestive um, field, prior to, I just thought digestion was just basically, you know, just receiving nutrients. And as Dr. Larry alluded, there's so many things that our GI tract does to support our overall health and immune system. And, um, you know, a lot of the digestive disorders that we didn't see 20 years ago, you know, 20, 30 years ago are rampant today. Um, they say that GI disorders right now outrank both cancer and heart disease combined. So it's something that we're really dealing with as society today. And I'm excited about LINK. LINK has actually changed the way we've done functional nutrition in our practice. And so I'm going to give you a couple examples. Um, we'll start with irritable bowel disease. Now, our, our four pillars, the four core functionalities of the GI tract, just so you know how we practice to get a little bit background. First, we want to work at structural integrity, and that is this barrier function. From the moment we eat food to we eliminate it out, we want to keep all the particles of food in, in our digestive tract um, and to keep unwanted, you know, hazardous uh, microorganisms and other particles from infiltrating, you know, in our tract. So we need super strong structural integrity. Butyric acid is the preferred um, fuel for our gut lining. And so it's, it's been amazing. Beyond structural integrity, as we move to absorption and assimilation of um, nutrients, I found with using LINK and the stopping the upflow of systematic inflammation, people are getting better absorption. They're able to eat less, absorb more. It's working with the chemical part of, of digestion. You have a mechanical part of digestion when you're masticating with your mouth and your stomach is churning and flatten out this bolus that, you know, the food mixed with saliva into what's called chyme for more surface area. And by removing that systematic gut inflammation, we're able to receive a lot more nutrients. Um, another pillar of gut health is elimination. I look at this as just as important as the digestive process. Um, any type of, um, basically when, when, when food and, and everything has been extracted and we're, the food now drops into um, the colon uh, along with undigested fibers, this is where water and valuable B and K vitamins and electrolytes are pulled out before we eliminate. We need proper motility and butyric acid really helps with that and visceral perception 
And then lastly, um, butyric acid or what we call a postbiotic really helps with microbial balance. You may have heard of um, probiotics, I'm sure, or maybe some of you have heard about prebiotic fiber. Um, but you know, these, these 100 trillion cells uh, um, or 100 trillion microbes that live within us, we are their host, good probiotic bacteria, pathogenic bacteria, um, commensal neutral bacteria, as well as viruses and protozoa and yeast and even parasites, they all have critical roles. And again, getting back to just this, our digestive tract is more than just a, about digestion and assimilation of nutrients, our di digestive tract um, and our immune system, things that we wouldn't ever think about like obesity or, or diseases like lupus, um, skin issues like eczema and psoriasis, even thyroid conditions um, um, can be developed with, with um, when any of those pillars of our GI tract are, are out of whack, when, when our gut population of bugs is out of whack, we call that dysbiosis and it can lead to a lot of systematic issues. Um, in, in the acute, um, it could be indigestion and bloating and gas and things like this, um, IBS, and then, you know, if it gets chronic, it can get into things like inflammatory bowel disease. So let me tell you a little bit about um, a couple of IB, IBD patients. Now go ahead and pop back, um, Paige, if you will. Okay, so inflammatory bowel disease can be very severe. They can be deadly. These are things like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, diverticulitis. Every one of those, I've worked with patients and had link on and it had a profound effect. As a matter of fact, there's a Crohn's patient that's currently not on his biologic anymore. Now keep in mind, there's no magic pill, and I wanna state this. All of these, these case studies that we're about to tell you, they're working in therapeutic partner with their physician team and other uh, healthcare providers. They're on specialty um, um, therapeutic diets, bio-individual to each person, and um, so you can't really biohack the gut, but if there is a shortcut, postbiotics are this. I'm ex I, I love this link product and I love the affordability. It's allowed a lot more patients to be able to um, afford to be on this product. And so, um, you know, another case of IBD is a young guy in his early 20s, diverticulitis. He was having severe, severe cramping. His mom is a health coach. She's doing everything right. Um, she called me up and I, I recommended this product after 60 days, he's yet to have a flare um, being on this product. So let's go ahead and move over on um, page to IBS. All right, so irritable bowel syndrome. Um, this is a stress induced for the most part, some type of stressor I should say, but a lot of it is, uh, um, you know, the stress in life can cause irritable bowel. Um, half of gut patients or more have IBS conditions. I see a lot of uh, celiac and, and, and IBS combinations, SIBO and IBS, even ulcerative colitis is a part of it. And obviously by its name, irritable bowel, it's an alteration in bowel habits. Um, we've had a number of people um, do extremely well, family members, <clears throat> a number of my worksite wellness clients, <clears throat> excuse me, they've done extremely well. Um, with IBS symptoms being alleviated, being on link. Again, it usually takes several months, two to three months. And, and I'll tell people right off the bat, you might as well, you know, while you're here, get, grab a couple bottles or at least be, you know, um, thinking about picking one up each month, you know, if, if it's an affordability issue, because it's going to take some time to, to alleviate this with, with some changes in diet. And um, I, I did have an IBS uh, um, patient, a very successful man. He was a very hard driving type A personality. It was very hard to get him to slow down. As you can imagine, I told him to stop working out and start meditating. You can only imagine how that went. Um, but, but he did get on the link product after, after a couple months. And within about 60 days, he has yet to have a flare of, of his IBS. So um, the products really work. Let's go ahead and move on to leaky gut. Um, well, okay, so let's talk a little bit about how, why IBS is increasing. You could add IBD to this as well with the, with the um, 
you know, so many cases of Crohn's and colitis that are even um, down in the pediatrics and our, our children. Guys, so much of it's our diet. This is my health coach um, kicking in right now telling you, eat lots of good, clean, real food. Um, convenience kills. If, if, you, um, if you continue to eat the microwave meals and the fast meals and the takeout meals, <clears throat> they're loaded with salt, loaded with um, sugar and other types of om high omega-6 inflammatory fats they're cooked in. Um, we need to get back, guys, to good old eating, our oatmeal and eggs or, or nutritional shake in the morning, packing good leftovers from the night before, or packing a big salad in a mason jar with, with oil and vinegar, and just having a good clean piece of protein, um, a salad and, and roast up some vegetables, for dinner and then have a healthy snack and then cheat a little bit on the weekend and you can tend to do really well if, if you're not in a chronic state, um, especially if you supplement with links. So, all right, let's go ahead and move on to the leaky gut slide. Okay, the majority of Americans ha have some type of gut permeability. That is this epithelial lining that these are real tight junctions and our, our, our colon that keeps all the gases and all the toxic things that we want to eliminate out of the body are held by columns of cells that are only one cell thick. So we need to shore up that gut. And again, butyric acid is the preferred fuel um, for, for these cells. So um, by supplementing and, and tightening up those uh, tight junctions, I call it the lift. A lot of people, because again, electrolytes and a lot of vitamins B and K are produced in, in our colon, in our large intestine, people tend to get a lift of energy when they've been on the product, you know, and, and, and that um, the inflammation and the f undigested food particles and other types of gluten molecules that can cause a molecular uh, a mimicry and things like that, um, that cause a lot of upflow inflammation go away when we cinch up the gut and, and protect our, our first line of defense. Um, um, one, of, one of my favorite um, case studies for leaky gut in extreme brain fog was a um, GERD client, uh, uh, another um, worksite wellness client who um, he um, ha had a number of issues, a number of allergic reactions. Um, I had him um, um, on link. He actually was on a therapeutic dose of so three to four a day, along with apple cider vinegar, organic apple cider vinegar, which is also a short chain fatty acid. It's the C2 acetate. Um, he started to do really well, really by his second month. The only time he had any acid reflux um, was when he would go to restaurants that he knew he shouldn't be going to when he was in the healing phase. Um, but then beyond that, after, after um, his reflux went down, and by the way, he was on Prilosec for over 20 years. He was on a proton pump inhibitor. But that very next quarter, he was part of a weight loss challenge and he actually won it. He lost 32 pounds. He got off both of his allergy medications. He hasn't had any reflux since. So it's been a really, really amazing uh, um, product. Let's go ahead and do the next slide. Okay, so this is what I love about this company and this product, it's science, it's sourcing, it's, it's purity and it's potency. When, when you look at our product PDF and, and on our website, we talk about the multi-benefits that Link has, improving gut function, um, um, microbial health, brain function, our metabolism, regulating our immune system, regulating inflammation and benefits for the skin. All right, so I'm gonna lift up a little article from the World Journal of Gastroenterology. I know a lot of you, I know none of you are subscribers. I'm probably the only one. But when you look at the effects of butyrate on intestinal and extra intestinal diseases, when I flip this guy over, this is actually page three of this study and I can post it. It talks about butyrate benefits intestinal barrier function, inflammatory uh, um, and oxidative stress, cell growth and differentiation, ion absorption, immune regulation, and intestinal motility and visceral perception. It's almost that same little graph Dr. Larry showed in our slide. Guys, our products do what they say they're going to do. There's great integrity here. There's no hype. Again, we want to tell you um, 
you know, to, to really live a balanced life. And, and with that, these new breakthrough, these high-end nutraceuticals and single molecule form and optimal delivery really do what they say they're going to do. That's a good segue. Um, let's go ahead, Paige. Um, so when we look at this Psylocke and Dexky, and then, then the preceding slide, this is a patent-pended enteric capsule which means that butyrate, which is not a, a, a really, um, it's a pretty foul smelling substance, but it's safely contained in this special enteric capsule that gets through the stomach acidity, the alkalinity of the um, small intestine, right into the colon where it can do what it's supposed to do. So, and it's also wrapped in a little bit of prebiotic fiber, which is another really, really, which is the next slide, which is, uh, um, um, makes it even more effective and, and for even more um, ionization and absorption. So with that, I, I want to close with just one quick testimonial of an autistic boy. He's in his early 20s. They started working with him about four months ago, and he got on Link and um, Optimin about 45 days ago when they became available in the U.S., um, um, within about three to three and a half weeks. Um, he started to ask to be read to. Now he's low functioning autistic, the sweetest boy, a big, big boy, a um, big, big man, I should say at this, this um, point in his life. Um, but that hasn't happened since he was a toddler, since he was like four or five years old. Um, last Saturday, I was out cleaning my pool and I got a text from his mom that said, and it actually, let me pull up that text so I can, I can quote it. All right, so it verbatim it read, Dan hit the books again today, was spelling all kinds of words he didn't even know he could spell. And this is just one link and one optimum, along with the therapeutic diet and the other things that we're doing for him. But guys, it's dissolving the placking, it's reducing the systematic inflammation, it's allowing, in his case, better neurotransmission, uh, these neurotransmitters. And so with that, you know, I, I thank you for listening in. I wanted to pass the uh, um, slide here to Dr. Daniel Siebert, and he's going to talk about the gut-brain um, connection. Thank you, John. You covered a lot of very unique information, especially with regards to the gut. So what does the gut have to do with the brain? So that's what we're going to get into now as part of the topic here. It's showing here in this, in this uh, slide here that Link improves gut function and micro microbiome health. Now, if we go through this, the, late, the strengthening of the gut lining is very, very important, which John had mentioned about, you know, dealing with leaky gut syndrome or any of the other issues that may, the body may deal with. There's also the process in which the, the, the nutrients within our gut creates a, a process in which we start absorbing these, this energy in the body itself. It's the key to which we it's basically, the, it's, it's kind of the fuel for the engine, as we would say. And if we don't have that right kind of microorganism activity within the gut, our brain actually will begin to have an effect. And there's a reason why. If you were to break down the brain and some of the, of the neural activity within the brain itself, there's, there's this circuitry that actually occurs. It's a nerve circuitry. And within that nerve circuitry, there's one particular nerve system that actually controls this whole activity of the digestive, digestive tract itself, and that is called the vagal nerve. And the vagal nerve, of course, is at the base of your brain. It's part of what we call the uh, cranial nerves. And this vagal nerve, you know, sometimes we often call it the vagus nerve. No, we're not going to Las Vegas for this one. But it is called the vagal nerve, and this vagal, vagal nerve has a lot of neurons, a lot of neuron activity that's found within the intestinal system. In fact, you'll see here, it says that this also strengthens the link between the brain and the guts and some 100 million neurons call the gut their home. Now this neuron activity is connected to the brain and the brain itself, you know, if, if there's a malfunction if, either in the gut or in the brain or combination thereof, this is where people will begin to have issues such as Alzheimer's, dementia, uh, depression, ADHD, ADD. Uh, you know, there's all these different kinds of issues that people will start having. 
And this is where it begins, right here at the gut and in relationship to how the brain functions. Next slide. Next slide. Thank you. Now, how does LINK improve the brain function? Now, this is, this is, this is the unique part about here. First off, it increases the creation of brain cells, neurogenesis. Now, how does that occur? Well, in our, in our brain, there's what is called a blood-brain barrier. Now, that blood-brain barrier, certain things just don't get past it. It's designed to receive only certain chemistry within our body to allow it to get past. And one of the things that allows that to happen is the short-chain fatty acids. And that short chain fatty acid is, is increased and encouraged in our gut via by butyric acid. And of course, link creates that activity. Now, now it says here, it strengthens the blood brain barrier, improves the connection between the brain and the gut. This is, this is unique. This is a unique process. When we look at our, our digestive system, there's a certain level of activity that needs to be very present. And it's called the, the, the process of the mucal lining itself. The mucal lining is kind of the, how shall we say, the keeper of all activity that occurs when it comes to nerve activity, when it comes to digestion activity, when it comes to breakdown, enzyme activity for the breakdown. It, it's a it's, it's very unique system in itself. So when we have a disconnection of this mucosal activity, you're going to find that it's going to start affecting the brain. And that's why we have people that deal with mood disorders. So here's a unique thing. It says, key to the production of all neurotransmitters, 90% of which are produced in the gut. Our gut is so uniquely designed and so uniquely connected to the neuronal pathways that our brain needs to have. Next frame. So what are the ingredients of LINK that helps to create this metabolic or metabolism activity? Well, I'm gonna back up here for a moment. <clears throat> Stay in the same slide. I'm gonna back up with a thought here. What is metabolism? Well, metabolism is what creates energy in our body. It's, it's when we put food in our mouth, we create a fuel activity. So metabolism is very, very important. In fact, Here's, here's a little key to understanding metabolism. Thyroid. Our thyroid. Most people deal with thyroid issues in our American society. And the, one of the reasons being is that our gut is one of the biggest issues. Yes, our gut is one of the biggest issues. Because of what people eat and the food that we eat and the way that our, our diets are and the foods that are out there, it causes an issue with the mucosal activity of the gut. And there are other things that can cause that same problem. There can be a pathogenic issue, such as overgrowth of yeast or overgrowth of wrong kind of bacteria or wrong, or possibly an overgrowth of yeast. But here's an interesting thing about the thyroid. The thyroid is connected. Yes, we have, we have a process in which it's connected to the brain, the pituitary, and, it can, and the hypothalamus comes down to the thyroid. And then our thyroid puts out certain hormones that is needed for creating the activity of metabolism. But there are other forms of thyroid hormones that comes down to our liver that are converted into other forms of thyroid hormones. But in order for that activity to occur, we have to have a signal system that comes from our gut. Interesting concept. Gee, our gut is in charge of creating necessary hormone activity of the thyroid. So when we are looking at the thyroid, there can be many reasons why it's not functioning, but one of the key ones is gut. Now, as we look at this a little bit further, we know that the gut breaks down fatty cells. It also improves insulin sensitivity. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a gland in our body called the adrenal gland. This thing, is, this thing can get stressed out. It's what we call our stress puppy mach machine. It basically controls our stresses and sometimes can cause other issues such as overcompensating of stress 
And this is what we call putting cortisol. It causes, causes cortisol to be put into our body. How often have we heard about on TV these commercials about cortisol being what causes our big belly and it causes our, our, our inability to get sleep. And, and, and it even is actually a factor to what we call diabetes. And this is where insulin sensitivity becomes an issue. So when we have our gut issues, one of the things that can be affecting that could be even the adrenal glands. But what controls the adrenal glands? It's called the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis. It goes right back up into the brain. And here again, we have the brain controlling, kind of like a, kind of like a conductor of an orchestra. He's connecting the whole process up there as to how this gut process is working. Uh, we Back up one more. <laughs> Thank you. Now, when it comes to hormones, there are many forms of hormone activity that occur within our gut. And one of the things that's very, very important is understanding what hormones are important for our body to function. So when our gut is, gut is faltering or has issues, we don't get proper conversions in our, in our gut. And this conversion, such as, for example, when we deal with moods and depressions, there's a hormone in our body. We all, you know, all know about it. It's called serotonin. Serotonin is what is, is, is the issue in a lot of mood issues. A lot of people are on antidepressants and these types of meds to deal with the serotonin axis. Well, where does serotonin actually come from? It actually comes right from the gut itself. And it's, it's a process within our gut. There are certain chemical activities called 5-HTP and even vitamin C. When you put those two together, that begins to create what we need naturally, serotonin in our body. Serotonin not is, is not the only hormone that deals with, with moods. It also deals with inflammation. It's part of the pain receptor cycle. And I've got a situation, for example, I've got a case study that I have. I have this person, she kept coming in and she's, she's been to the medical processes, going through every med that they could think of to get her moods under control, to get her, her, her sense of depression, her sense of anxiety, always, uh, always, in, always in the issue. And they've tried just about every outtake medicine that they could, could think of. And she was just getting desperate. And not only did she have uptake issues, but she also dealt with a lot of inflammation within her body. So this was kind of a clue that <clears throat> Her body obviously wasn't producing enough serotonin in a natural way. Of course, where do we go? We go back to the gut. What's the gut doing? So I actually introduced her to Link. And it's, it's been about two months now since she's been on Link. Within four days of taking Link, she's going, okay, what is in this stuff? This is actually working better than any antidepressant I've ever taken. Well, what was going on? Well... Basically, her, her, her microbiome was actually beginning to change. It was actually becoming in such a way that it was actually allowing the proper breakdown and proper conversion that her body needed for serotonin, as an example. Okay, let's go to the next one. Link regulates genes that have a positive impact on the immune system, which is largely housed and originates in the gut signal molecules. I have a young man that has come in, and this one's been a real puzzle for me. Uh, this young man's about 22. He, he, he likes to work out at the gym. He's been on protein drinks of all kinds. And all of a sudden, he had, he had a recent surgery, and he's trying to figure out why his body was starting to deteriorate. And when I say deteriorate, his entire musculature, even his musculature, is becoming weaker and weaker and weaker. In fact, his breathing issues were becoming, an, 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 how shall I say, nil to none. He was always having to try and catch his breath. He couldn't exert himself in any way. Well, studying his system, studying all the tests that he's gone through, and believe me, this poor guy, he's been through every gambit of testing they got out there to try and figure this whole thing out. Well, they did come up with a possible assessment saying basically it is a neural, uh, they call it neuromuscular disease. Now when you get into studying neuromuscular disease, 
you'll find out that there's a, there's a link to it. It's called amyloidosis or amyloid activity. Well, what is amyloid activity? Well, amyloid activity is what is called foreign proteins. Foreign proteins that have passed beyond the digestive walls and have got into the body and the immune system is now busy attacking. That is actually one of the triggers to what is called autoimmune disease. Many autoimmune dis disorders are from foreign proteins getting into our, basically our body and not staying within the realms of the digestive system. So we started doing some work on him. We've got him connected to Link. In fact, I put him on some Optimen at the same time. The Link itself has actually caused some unique changes for him. One of the first things that began to happen is he was able to start breathing normal again. That was amazing to see that. That was within, that was within three weeks. And then the next thing that started to occur is he was noticing that his muscles were getting a little bit stronger. He was feeling a little bit more able to, to do more activities, do more things that he's been wanting to do. We're still working with him. There's still more things that we're still working on, but this is a very good beginning for him. Working with Link, working with the process of what it does for the digestion. Okay, go to the next. Link regulates inflammation. Amazing, take a look at all the associated causes of inflammation within the body. Everything from blood vessel disease, I don't see, I don't see the neuromuscular disease in there, but it's pretty close to the same thing. I see obesity, I see ulcers, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's and dementia. These are very, very, very interesting factors when it comes to the brain gut axis. Again, we have to go back to what is the chemistry going on within the gut? Is the gut at a level in which proper chemistry can actually occur so that their function within, within that gut can actually cause and create an ability for the brain to function at the level it's designed? Now, here's an example of, of a case that I was working on. I had this person that came in who had, she seemed to have some gut issues. Um, she, she started to express to me, she didn't share with me right away what was really going on. Well, one of the things that she finally got to was her main concern is she was getting what is called osteoporotic. In other words, her, she was extremely uh, losing mass bone, uh, bone around her body. And as we discussed, we found out that she had, she had about 10 years ago, had what they call gastro bypass. Well, when they do a gastro bypass, they basically shrink your stomach down to that of about the size of a golf ball. And then they take the outside of the stomach area, it's called the duodenum, and they actually make it into a little funnel. And then that goes attached to your small intestine and that becomes, that becomes your passageway of breakdown. And for 10 years, this poor woman has dealt with heartburn and inflammatory, uh, how shall I say, esophageal issues. And it was a constant issue for her. She's tried all kinds of pepsids and tagamets and all the necessary and acid. Nothing would ever stop it. And what she had also noticed is her mental capacities, her, her, her tendency to, you know, have cognition and thinking and so forth that over time had become less and less available to her. Well, I decided, okay, we've got to do something ahead of what's going on with your gut because you're not absorbing right now at this point because of what has happened. Obviously, if you're losing bone, you're not even absorbing the necessary calcium within your body. So first thing I did, put her on link. It was amazing to see even within three days, her heartburn was no longer existing. She had constipation issues. That actually was beginning to clear up. And to date, we're now working on at a level where we can actually start introducing certain supplements to start building back the necessary bone activity that her body is actually ready to, to receive. But we have to start at a beginning, and that was the gut. The gut is the most important part of this. And on top of it, she noticed even within three days of taking Link, she says, I can think clear. She says, I don't have this brain fart that I seem to always have all the time. She says, I walk into a room and I forget everything. She says, I'm not getting that as much anymore. 
She says, it's amazing. How amazing can one look, you know, one little product here can actually help me. And we're having that good result. Okay, skin. How important is the skin on our body? Well, I got a very interesting case, case study. <clears throat> the immune system, first off, is part of the skin activity. Our immune system, we have quite the amazing immune system, not just throughout our body, but also within the, the, the digestive tract, the whole gastrointestinal system. But what's interesting is we also have an immune system that's found with, around our skin. And it's kind of, the skin is kind of similar to our, the, the way the gut uh, layers are designed. Well, I have a young lady, she came in with her dad, and one of the issues that she was having was food intolerance. Now, food intolerance is a biggie. And when we have people that have food intolerances, of course, we have gluten issues, we have, you know, different kinds of uh, uh, nightshade issues or tomato issues, sauces and all kinds. And there's a lot of research where they'll go and they'll, they'll go to the lab, and they'll get their testing done and yeah, you're allergic to this, 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 and this. But what was interesting is this young lady, she was lactose intolerant. Of course, we know that's dairy. So one of the things I decided to do was, hey, how about if we try putting some link into your body? But at the same time, when we were talking with her, she has this constant breakout of acne through her, back, through her face, all down her back, even parts of her arm. She says, it's so annoying. She says, I feel so embarrassed from going to school. She says, I, there's times that I just, I don't want to even go to school because of this amount of acne I deal with. Well, when I put her on the lake, it was interesting because she had started noticing within about a week and a half, her skin was basically starting to clear up. And it was about three weeks later, her dad got a hold of me and he says, you know, he says, I need to get some more link. He says, my daughter, she's finishing up on it. He says, uh, you know, the other day, he says, I was actually making some grilled cheese sandwiches. And my daughter spoke up and said, dad, make me one. And it was interesting. He turned around and he says, you can't, you can't have a grilled cheese sandwich because I don't care, dad. I want to try this thing out. She says, it's worked for my skin. I want to see if it works for my gut. So he made her a grilled cheese sandwich, and sure enough, she actually had no issues with the grilled cheese sandwich. So her lactose intolerant issue actually seems to have improved where she's able to actually enjoy her food. Amazing stuff, I have to say. Now, now as far as I can say, I'm going to continue using. I'm going to continue to explore. I'm going to continue to provide, especially people that have had any surgeries or alterations of digestive, including, for example, people that have uh, lost their gallbladder. Gallbladder is important for hormone activity in our body. It's important for digestion in our body. Link is a very useful tool for helping to create what our normal bile activity is creating when gallbladder is missing. I'm going to continue to use Link for any of the other issues that I've found with people when it comes to disorder issues. I'm going to continue to use it for just about anything that I can possibly con conceive that might be coming from what we call the gut-brain axis. So I'm going to turn this back over, I believe, to Larry. Thank you, Daniel, and John as well. I hope you all are enjoying this presentation tonight as we um, were trying to bring to you a number of case studies, breaking down exactly what is happening in the body uh, with butyric acid and with our link product. And we've gone over metabolic stuff, brain level stuff, gut stuff, um, inflammation, bone and joint issues. Uh, to talk about a single product that can have so much effect on overall body health uh, makes this product very exciting for all of us. Just to, next slide. I'm going over a couple of additional benefits that Link is known for. Um, some of the things that you may not be aware that butyric acid or a Link product can uh, assist with. Uh, it, it's good in reducing the production of our microbiome uh, where a 
propionic acid is accumulated. And this is, a, is known to be an implication in autism spectrum disorders. Uh, John gave a great example of a, of a young man that he's working with that um, Link has been very beneficial with that. Butyric acid has shown to have significant influence in prevention of cardiovascular disease. In addition, butyric acid is recognized in down-regulating gene expressions that are involved in the production of cholesterol and triglycerides. Um, in conclusion, let's, next slide, Let, let's talk about some of the bullet points that we discussed tonight. Uh, Link is such an exceptional supplement to assist in overall better health. Uh, it's considered to be one of the most beneficial supplements, uh, considered it's a true supplement. And what we mean by that is uh, when you're adding something that the body already produces. Um, we are adding link because our diets are no longer allowing enough of our own production of butyric acid to keep our gut cellular system healthy. There's no other butyric acid supplement on the market that can provide a full dose like the link does. Uh, with, unique, with our unique molecular encapsulation delivery system, it, uh, it's offered in, in this link product. It allows us to get the butyric acid into the colon where it's best utilized, where it's absorbed best. And what ends up happening because of this encapsulation is that we get a pure and full dose delivered where, where it needs to be delivered. Link uh, also packulate packs in its formula a group of prebiotics that support butyric acid growth and also works at promoting a healthy microbiome. And Leak is complete body and health wellness product for a wide range, as I've said already, of cellular function from head to toe. Um, so that concludes our meeting tonight. I do want to let you know that we're going to be uh, doing a similar uh, presentation in two weeks. It'll be Wednesday night. I believe it's the 31st. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, we, we encourage you to come. We're going to be talking about the OptiMend product and uh, essentially attack what the product is and what kind of benefits we expect you to uh, be able to see as you start to get this product and on the customers that you're working with. Uh, we'll again be presenting some case studies along with the science of that product. I'm going to conclude by again uh, reviewing the FDA statement just so that we're clear in our discussions where we're talking about diseases and we're talking about a product, uh, it's important to know that what we're not saying is the following. The statements made throughout this presentation have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration, and this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any diseases. With that, we'd like to say thank you for being here. On behalf of Daniel and John, we have, we've enjoyed having the opportunity to present this to you this evening. And I'll say good night. Thank you very much, Dr. Larry, uh, Don Mark Rankins, and Daniel Siebert for an excellent presentation on LINK. I can't wait till we do the same thing on Optiman. I want to let everybody know that's listening. If you are looking for the recording of this webinar, please get with the person that invited you to this webinar or look for your uh, on the corporate website. They'll be posting it in the near future. With that, thank you all for attending. Appreciate your time and have a good night. Good night, all. Bye.